Hello everybody, and welcome to Mentech MCCS demonstration. MCCS is a short form of Mentech Continuous Cluster Server, and it's a solution that provides high availability and disaster recovery for Windows and Linux platform. Before we start with the demo, I will show you the demo environment. Next, I will show you how MCCS detects the failure of network, server, disk, and application, an automatic failover to standby machine. After failover, I will show you how easy the failback is to original active machine. Lastly, I will show you how easy it is to manage the cluster. Let's look at the demo environment first. As you can see, there are two servers with MSSQL installed for demo purpose in each machine. Let's name them server A and server B. There is a heartbeat line for communication path and mirror line for data replication between servers. There are real IP addresses to manage each server, and there is a virtual IP address which is switchable between servers. This will be assigned on the real IP address of active machine. Data will be stored in the internal disk of server, and this will be replicated to standby server through mirror line. MSSQL database is real-time replicated from active server to standby server through MCCS. Now let's access to both servers and look at MCCS GUI console. Left server is active server, let's name it server A. And on the right is standby server, server B. When connect MCCS management console, you can see all the state of resource active standby server. On the right side, Added resources are shown in tree structure. You can see the resource state of server A on the left and resource state of server B on the right. That means all the resources in server A is online state and server B is on offline state. Let's see what happens when server A is shut down and how MCCS detects this and failover to server B, which is standby. I'm going to shut the server A now. Server A is disconnected, as well as the remote connection. MCCS detects server A is failed. After a few seconds, all the resources will be brought online in order on server B. Next, let's see what happens when service network of server A is disconnected and, and see how MCCS detects this and failover to server B. Currently, server A on the left is active machine and server B on the right is standby machine. I will disconnect the network interface card of server A. Now server A is number 184 server of virtual machine list. As soon as the network is disconnected, View of server A is frozen. When you look at the view in server B, MCCS detects that network connectivity of server A has failure and all the resources will be brought online in order on server B. As you can see in the view, server A network is disconnected and remote connection has terminated. When you look at server B, Virtual IP that network interface card resources are all shown in red marks, and that definitely means they are failures. Now I will click on the Note button of State Monitoring and check the resource state of Server A and Server B. Let's look at resource state of Server A first. It shows that network interface card and virtual IP resource has failure and all the other MSSQL related services are offline. Now let's look at server B. 
All the resources in server B are shown in colors, which means these are running. Next, let's see what happens when a disk of server A has failure and how MCCS detects this and fail over to server B. Same as before, server A on the left is active machine and server B on the right is standby machine. I will unplug the disk of server A. On the left side, server A shows that the failure has occurred in a disk resource and MSSQL service is stopped and releases the resources including virtual IP. On the other hand, all the resources will be brought online in order on server B. Let's see what happens when an application of server A has failure and how MCCS detects this. We start this in a local server and then fail over to the server B. Same as before, server A on the left is active machine and server B on the right is standby machine. Before I show you the demo, I'll briefly introduce how MCCS works for application failure. When MCCS detects a failure in application, it does not fail over to the standby machine right away, but instead tries auto recovery on local machine. For this demo environment, I have set the restart value for three times. With this value, MCCS will try application restart for three times and if they still have problem in the defined time, then it will fail over to the standby server. Now let's move on with our demo. I will stop MSSQL service of server A on purpose. After the first try, MCCS restarts the service in the local machine. Let's try this for three times. At the same time, all these recovery actions are shown in the log of server B. Let's try the last try. As you can see in the view, MCCS detects MSSQL service will not be able to run on server A, give up local recovery and decides to fail over to server B. All the resources are brought online in order on server B. Server A on the left side shows that MSSQL related resources has failure and is shown in red mark. All the resources in standby server is on online state, maintaining the continuity of MSSQL service. Next, I will show you how the service fail back to active server. Server A is active machine on the left and server B is standby on the right. Now I will reboot server A. MCCS will fail over MSSQL related resources to server B. We can see the state of server A through MCCS console. When server A is rebooted normally, this will be joined as cluster member and MCCS will set this as standby role. Server A, which was originally active machine, has turned to standby role. Now I will rec 
connect to server A and try to fail back from server B to server A. Failback is very simple. It can be done by clicking switch from resource group. All the running resources will be taken offline on server B when click target node and click OK button. And you can see that the service has failed back to server A. Eventually, MS SQL related resources have started in server A and all the resources in server B are now are now in standby mode. Now let's see how easy it is MCCS to manage. When you need to add application or services on the running server, this can be done easily through MCCS Management Console. Next, let's set dependency for the newly added resource with existing resources. Resources which is managed by MCCS are related to each other and need to be brought online or taken offline by order among this. Dependency is set by defining start and stop order of this. Currently, service is online in server A. You can see that there are MCCS management console in each server. I will try to add user defined process now. On the upper side of the console, there is a yellow colored block icon and when you click on the icon, a window to add resource will appear. Select the resources to be added and define the name of the resource. Let's name it TCP view. Next, define required values such as program location. Process to be added is located at a folder named TCP, TCP view of C drive. Check the file location and click OK button. If the process runs in foreground, change the inter interactive with desktop app option as true. If you want to monitor the process, check enable resource option and click OK. Click OK button once again and adding resource is completed. Now on the right, you will see that the resource process resource is created. And when click it, newly added TCP view appears. Newly added resource is also shown on the right side of dependency view. Now let's set the dependency like other resources. TCP view process resource depends on IP address. Therefore, it should be executed after network interface card and IP address is online. Click on this arrow to set dependency. And then click on the link icon and the pointer changes to block shape concept. Now click on the resource that is located on upper side and then click on the resource to set dependency. As you can see, dependency of TCP view resource has been set. Let's online the newly added process on server A. you will see that process has been online in server A. Now let's see if this resource is brought online 
after IP address is online. I will try to online all the resources to the server through server B through manual switchover. All the resources in active server is going offline. If you look at the standby server on the left, you will see that TCP view resources is going online after IP address. This is the end of MCCS demonstration. MCCS is a really convenient software, no hard scripting required, and assuring you the continuity of the server. Thank you.